myself, Mr. Akshay Kumar Subade, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department. Today, we will study Hartnell Governor. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, student will be able to derive and determine the stiffness of the spring, centrifugal force at minimum and maximum as well as intermediate position of the balls. So, Hartnell governor is a spring control governor as shown in the figure. It consists of two bell crank levers pivoted at point O, o and attached a to the frame. The frame is fitted on the spindle of the governor and the frame also rotates with the spindle. Each lever carries a ball at the end of vertical arm OB as well as a roller at the end of the horizontal arm. A helical compression spring is provided on the spindle which will provide an equal downward force on the roller through the collar on the sleeve. The compression of the spring can be adjusted by tightening or loosening the nut at the top of the spindle. Now, <coughs> consider the minimum and maximum position of the Hartnell governor where small m is the mass of the ball in kg, capital letter M for mass of the sleeve in kg, R1 and R2 minimum and maximum radius of rotation of the ball in meters, omega 1 and omega 2 angular speed of the governor at minimum and maximum radius in radians per second respectively. S1 and S2 spring force exerted on the sleeve at omega 1 and omega 2 in Newton respectively. Fc1 and Fc2 centrifugal force at a speed of omega 1 and omega 2 respectively. Small letter s represent the stiffness of the spring or the force required to compress the spring in by 1 mm. X is the length of the vertical arm of the ball arm of the lever and Y is the length of the horizontal or sleeve arm of the lever in meter. R is the distance of the fulcrum O from the axis of the governor or the radius of rotation of the governor is in mid position in meter. Now, we will consider the two positions that is as shown in the figure minimum position and maximum position. So, consider the forces acting on one bell crank lever of the Hartnell governor. So, let us consider H is the compression of the spring due to change in the radius of rotation from R1 to R2. So, let us consider the minimum position minimum position of the governor. So, when the radius of rotation R change, changes from R to R1, what will be the compression of the spring that we will determine. So, H1 is the compression due to the change in radius of rotation R to R1. Hence, from the figure A, we can calculate the compression of the spring H1 divided by Y is equal to <coughs> A1 divided by X. So, A1 is nothing but R minus R1 and therefore, H1 upon Y is equal to R 
minus R1 divided by x. And therefore, compression of the spring at minimum position, it is R minus R1 divided by x into y. This is your equation number 2. Similarly, for the maximum speed position, the radius of rotation changes from R to R2, where the compression of the spring is represented by H2. And therefore, for maximum position, H2 divided by Y is equal to A2 divided by X. And therefore, H2 divided by Y is equal to A2 is R2 minus R1. So, R2 minus R divided by X and therefore, H2 is equal to R, R2 minus R divided by X into Y. So, this is your equation number 2. So, the total compression of the spring is nothing but summation of equation 1 and 2. So, H is equal to H1 plus H2 and therefore, H is equal to R2 minus R1 into Y by X. This is equation number 3. Now, we will take the moment about the pivot point of the fulcrum where y1, x1, these are the obliquity effect of the arms of the bell crank lever. So, taking the moment about point O, we will get mg plus s1 taking the moment about point O, mg plus s1 divided by 2 into perpendicular distance y1, then mg into a1. So, mg into a1 is equal to centrifugal force acting on the fly ball fc1 into x1. So, mg plus s1 divided by 2 is equal to fc1 into x1 minus mg into a1. So, I can rewrite this equation mg plus s1 is equal to 2 by y1 in bracket fc1 into x1 minus mg into a1. This is my equation number 4. And similarly, taking the moment about point O at maximum position, I will get mg plus s2 divided by 2 into y2 is equal to fc2 into x2 minus plus mg into a2. And therefore, mg plus s2 is equal to 2 by y2 into fc2 into x2 plus mg in s2 minus s1 is equal to 2 divided by y2 into fc2 multiply by x2 plus mg into a2 minus 2 upon y1 into fc1 into x1 minus mg into a1. Now, as we know, the stiffness of the spring is defined as it is the spring force required to compress the spring by 1 mm. And therefore, s2 minus s1 is equal to s into h. And therefore, stiffness of the spring is difference between the spring force divided by the compression of spring. And henceforth, it is equal to 
एस टू माइनस एस वन डिवाइडेड बाय आर टू माइनस आर वन मल्टीप्लाय बाय एक्स अपॉन वाय सो दिस इज युअर इक्वेशन नंबर फाइव नाउ इफ द ऑब्लिक्विटी इफेक्ट ऑफ द आर्म्स ऑफ द बेलक्रैंक लिवर इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड और निग्लेक्टेड देन एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाय वन इज इक्वल टू वाय टू इज इक्वल टू वाय एंड मोमेंट ड्यू टू द वेट ऑफ द बॉल इज ऑल्सो निग्लेक्टेड देन टेकिंग द मोमेंट अबाउट द प्योर पॉइंट ओ एट मिनिमम पोजिशन देन एम जी प्लस एस वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन टू वाय इज इक्वल टू एफ सी वन इन टू एक्स एंड देर फोर एम जी प्लस एस वन इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स एफ सी वन इन टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय वाय देर फोर फॉर मैक्सिमम पोजिशन टेकिंग द मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ओ एम जी प्लस एस टू डिवाइडेड बाय टू इन टू वाय इज इक्वल टू एफ सी टू इन टू एक्स एंड हेन्स फोर एम जी प्लस एस टू इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स एफ सी टू इन टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय वाय सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन सिक्स एंड इक्वेशन सेवन If we deduct equation seven, seven minus six, therefore s two minus s one is equal to two times f c two minus two times f c one into x upon y, and therefore you will get two into f c two minus f c one into x upon y, and therefore. Stiffness of the spring small s is equal to s two minus s one divided by h. Hence, s two minus s one that will be s two minus s one divided by r two minus r one into x upon y. So, putting the value of s two minus s one, you will get s is equal to two times. एफ सी टू माइनस एफ सी वन डिवाइडेड बाय आर टू माइनस आर वन इन टू एक्स अपॉन वाई ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर दिस इज युअर इक्वेशन नंबर एट रेफरेंसेस द रेफरेंसेस आर टेकन फ्रॉम थेरी ऑफ मशीन्स बाय आर एस कुर्मी थैंक यू